Hi Tim, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to create tables in one lake with a data pipeline. I'll show you how we can able to create a table in one lake. The second way is how to create table in one lake using the workspace options directly. We can right click on the file from which file you want to load the data into a table and you want to create a new table directly from workspace also you can do so both the things we will see in today lab let me move on to the lab let's go to data factory so go to workspaces this is my workspace click on my workspace click on this so i'll be going to lake house click on lake house so the lake house name i am giving is cloud pundit source lake house 001 and create it so I have created a Cloud Pandit Source Lakehouse 001. So in this particular Source Lakehouse 001, I'll be creating a folder called Input. So inside this particular Input folder, I'll be uploading a file. Upload, upload file, just browse it. You can just go to Cloud Pandit dataset, set type and comma. Here I have credit.csv file. I'm just uploading this particular file. So once you upload it, just click on this, click on this credit.csv file. So this is the content that we have in this particular file. So one way is we want to use a data pipeline to create a table. So here the table will be shown here. If you see there is no tables. If you see there is no tables uh, we have for now, right? But what I want to do, I want to take this particular file data. I want to load data into the table and that table I want to create on the fly using the data pipeline. For that, let's go to my workspace. Now click on this, click on data pipeline. So let's give the name of the pipeline as PL4, okay, create table lake house, okay. So create table in the lake house. That is the pipeline name I have given. So in this particular pipeline, in order to create a table in lake house, we need to use a activity called copy activity. Just click on this, click add to canvas. So just to bring this here. So go to source. Within a workspace, I have a lake house. This is a lake house that I created. In this, I have a files. Under files, if you just browse it, okay, you will see input. Inside input, I have a file called credit.csv file. So this is a CSV file. I'll just select here delimited text because this is a csv file delimited text file so with this particular file i want to copy the data that is there in this file in the destination in the same lake house but this time it is not a file or folder it should be in a table so as we don't have any table i want to click a new to create a new table name the table name is credit credit is the table name or you can say tbl credit create it just to make sure this is a table credit Okay, so we no need to create automatically as the table is not available. It will create it just to validate the pipeline. Okay, so pipeline is validated. One more thing I forgot come to mappings just to click uh, import schemas. Now if you look at the schema, you will see something here. What you will see all the things as taken as a string. Now I want to convert this particular credit ID from string to integer and credit score i want to take it as a long data type so you can make this kind of a data type conversion otherwise what happens table will be created with the default data type as a string so that thing you can able to change it along with this if you also wanted to add a new column okay let's say you want to add a new column called load date okay you want to add a new column called load date then you can just click on this say dynamic content here you can use a UTC now. This UTC in which format we want. So whatever format you want, you can also take that format. But for now, I'm just giving the UTC now. So come to mappings once again, click uh, new mapping. So I'll be just adding the new column that we just added. Okay, where is that new column? It is not coming in, right? Just say import schemas once again. So now you can see load date came, but load date is coming as a date type, uh, string. I want to make it as a date time. So I think it should be, yeah, you can give it as a timestamp and this should be integer type. 
this should be long type so like this you can able to convert all the data types okay yeah no problem yeah that data truncation is valid validate so no errors were found now you can save this particular pipeline so the advantage of creating the table with the pipeline is you can add the additional columns like load date and all okay run it because normally if you directly load the data from file to a new table directly that we can able to achieve it using the uh, workspace options but the main disadvantage is whatever additional columns that you wanted to add maybe partition columns or audit columns like file name or source and whatever that you cannot able to do see now copy activity succeeded if you see the toll records read toll records are written now we can go to this lake house within this lake house okay you will be able to see a table now right click click refresh you should be able to see a table called tbl credit we can able to see now what is the data that we have in this uh, tbl credit it is the same data as of this particular file whatever file is having file is having a toll records with four columns but this table is having a five columns with the uh, toll records toll records with the five columns because load date we have added so now i will be creating a one more table here from this particular uh, file without using the data pipeline how you can able to do just to click on this particular file you see load to table i don't want to load it into existing table i want to load it into a new table here you can give the table name as a okay so what you can do just make it as a credit and you can see you have headers uh, in your file and the file is having a data with a comma separated just click load now what happens within a 20 to 30 seconds one more table is going to create with the table name as credit because we have given a table name as credit so this is how you can able to create a table in the lake house from the existing files maybe if you have a files in some other lake house from that lake house also you can able to load data into this particular lake house and create the table using the data pipeline but if you are using this particular ui option you can able to create the table within the same uh, lake house okay i think the it is about to complete just let's wait for few more seconds then we will see a success message i think still it is in progress let's wait since 48 seconds it is happening 51 seconds i'll just pause the video until it is succeeded once it is uh, succeeded i'll just uh, come back okay okay so now you can see it took around uh, three minutes uh, to complete it okay so once this is done now you can just click on create it some network issue maybe because of those things it is taking that much time but it is not like uh, it will not take that much time okay it is saying four minutes ago but we did not get the status okay now you can see if you look at credit table you can able to see only four columns i have not added any additional columns okay so that's how you can able to create a lake house table from the existing file using the workspace options or using the data pipeline team i hope everybody understood uh, so i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and support me and encourage me thank you